Bahraini protesters clashed with security forces just hours before the Formula One Grand Prix on the Persian Gulf Islands. Massed youths clogged up roads in several villages near the capital Manama with burning tires in protest at the race. Overnight, regime forces fired tear gas and bird shots to scatter protesters chanting slogans against the motor racing event. Opponents say the ruling Al Khalifa regime is trying to show that the situation is calm by hosting the international race. They argue that the regime is using the event as a cover-up to its heavy-handed crackdown on protests and its abysmal rights record. The Arab Kingdom has been rocked by a popular uprising since 2011. Scores of people have been killed and many more arrested since then. Well, to discuss that a bit further, I'm joined by Professor Mohsen Saleh, who is a professor at the Lebanese University, who's joining us live now from Beirut. Professor, thanks a lot for joining us now. How do you assess the fact that, you know, it seems that at this point the, this race will go ahead. How do you assess the success or failure of this? Well, of course, the Bahrainis, uh, through, uh, through two years, they have been learned how to face this uh, tribal regime. And whatever, if they go into this formula, if they cancel it, the Bahrainis uh, struggle will continue in order to not only stop such kind of race or any kind of atrocity, atrocities committed by the regime, but they'll continue until they really achieve the demands they want, I guess, in freedom. And it's about time for the uh, freed, free world, as they say, in the West and in the East to back the Bahrainis in their demands and their independence. Uh, and I guess this Formula One is uh, an occasion, will go, but the Bahrainis will continue their struggle. And now they teach the regime that they uh, are unstoppable and whatever they bring of tear gases and of the policemen of the Jazeera uh, shields, whatever they bring, the Bahrainis are continuing their struggle. Professor, in a sense, is this race a good thing for the revolution, considering it brings more international attention to the country? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, uh, I heard some MPs from England and from Europe and, of course, the Arab world now, especially the people in the Arab world, are feeling that the Bahrainis should really get their uh, demands, get their needs, at least in a, in a, on a freedom-based uh, situation in Bahrain. And I guess this tribal family cannot control Bahrain for forever. Uh, their, their, their future, I guess, it's about to uh, end up, and the Bahraini tribal regime, the, the Khalifa regime, will, uh, will end up uh, probably by the end of this year. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Professor Saleh, we appreciate your insight.